Hello, this is Artie from Tidal Waves, and um, this is my first video of, I guess, a new format. I'm essentially trying to go all YouTube, and I don't know if this is going to work out, but there are a lot of reasons why I want to go all YouTube, and it's because the amount of editing that I have to do to bring the video down to five minutes sometimes takes me too long, and I get my own music projects I'm trying to work on, and I, I want to... I'm doing all my own editing of the videos and everything else myself, and it takes, it, it just takes a long time to do all the editing. I might finish a video, and it's like 11 minutes, and I have to take out six of those minutes. And to choose what to take out, and then, and then I'm down to five minutes and 40 seconds, and I have to find 40 seconds of my video to take out, is not... Um, I don't know. It's not what I really want to do, and I don't know if this is going how this is going to affect um, the people who are following me on Threads due to tidal waves. But at the same time, I want to make it so that I can do these videos in a very ex, um, ex expeditious type of way, so that I can I can do more videos, but that I can also say what I want to say. I've taken out of so many of my videos. So many things that I didn't want to take out. There were things that I said, positive things about the band. And I had to take those things out because I had to bring it all down to five minutes. So I'm going to try to keep these videos, you know, I don't want to make them long. But at the same time, I don't want to have to take out important things that I think that are important about the band. Anyways, so Shift Control Music. It's a cool band name, by the way. I put out the call. I said, I'm on the search to feature a songs on Tidal Waves. You have a song on Tidal you think should be featured. Let me have the link. And then I, I, I posted it. Shift Control Music put their song on. I listened to it and said, ooh, I like this. But I didn't do a video right away because I knew I was getting this new camera set up. And I wanted to change my format a little bit. So I said, <clears throat> this is really good. And he, um, I said, this, I, I like this. And he says, um... I'm happy to hear that. Here's the song right here. I'm going to play it. It's a song called Masquerade. Interestingly, the band is called Shift Control. Um, but it's funny, when I saw Shift Control music for the for the, the Threads handle, I'm like, oh, that's a cool band name. But Shift Control is still a cool band name. And um, holy crap. This song, I'm going to play it. And, I mean, it's 6 minutes and 12 seconds long, so there's a chance I'm, I'm not going to play the whole song. But what I what, what drew me to the song, what, what, what hit me really hard, what I really loved about the song, was the fact that it's the production is amazing. The song itself is a package, you know, because each song is a song. It's written. It's got chord changes. It's got... Um, a type of format that, that it follows, you know, whether it's verse, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, solo, chor you know what I'm saying? Every song has its own pattern or own format that it, that it kind of falls into. Um, yeah, this was, this, I found this to be very interesting. And I also found the vocals, the vocal track itself to be outstanding. Not only is the quality of the voice amazing, but the note choice, the vocal melody is really nice. And the effects on the vocals I thought were nice. So I, it, it only took me about two minutes into the song when I first listened to it, where I was like, I am gonna, this is going to be my first feature when I get my new camera. Because it deserves it. And it, for all of the things that I mentioned, it's, it's a complete package and just a well put together song. So let's check out the song Masquerade featuring featuring Steve Janiak, and it's from the band Shift Control. It's right away. Right ear. The guitar picking in the left ear. And then that, then the singing starts. Good note choice, man. All 
together. <clears throat> I think it's like a all together. I don't know if it's a, a four, five, flat three, um, but he's including, it's, it's interesting, he's including chord tones, but also including um, notes out of the pentatonic scale while he sings. And there's a few moments where he sings uh, the two of the pentatonic scale. And there's a moment where he sings the flat six of the pentatonic. Oh, actually the flat six is not in the pentatonic scale, but you know, he sings the flat six of the scale. And it's a, um, you know, it's interesting. The flat six, depending upon what chord you're singing it over, can kind of give something a little bit of an Eastern feel. And um, those are hard notes to sing because they're not, the notes that we naturally go to, especially if we're playing a chord, we tend to sing the one, three, or five of the chord, you know? Um, so the note choice of what's being sung here just really hits me. And it's, it's done all throughout the song. It's not like, let me sing a note here. It's very, very melodic. That's what I would call it. It's just slow and melodic. And that I like. Let's go back to where the singing starts. Another drive with your Another drive with your eyes shut Good vocal quality too. A little dance in the lines on your face. And listen to the drums. All together. Not even sure how you fell in this race. And right there, just finish this race. It's. And you have the double track for the chorus. Drums change for the chorus. Guitar gets heavier. And then back to, and then that, in the right ear, it sounds like a guitar. Just, it just incredible, incredible production, incredible songwriting, everything. Now you notice, he did one, one runaround of the verses there instead of two, you know, which is common to do. You know, you, you do the um, the verses that usually the beginning of a song, someone tends to perpetuate the verse. They do the verses a little bit more. But then after the chorus, the verses comes back and it's one runaround. It's one verse. It's not two. And it's just everything's crisp. Even the heavy parts are just musical. It's not noise. It's... They, it, it's it's very 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 well done. They don't allow room for mistakes. And then you can hear the, the guitar solo. It sounds like a Fender Strat. And then what is this? You're two minutes in. Is it the bridge? What is this? Is this a, some weird chorus? Is this a post-chorus? Three vocal tracks now. Chords are changing, different chord progression. Now you have that. Down. The vocals are incredible. And then, ready? So is this a post bridge what even is this it's just a it, it's just such a good song the song writing is so good and then right back to the beginning of the song so you have to read through the song so the, this 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 in in my opinion what this song is so far is, you know, it's like a couple of verses, chorus, couple of verses, chorus, a um, little bit of a musical interlude into a bridge, and then like a trail off to the end of the song. This song could be three minutes and four seconds long, but it starts, it, here we go, now back at the beginning hook, 
of the song halfway through. Nice drums, nice, it, everything's just crisp and nice. In the same exact way. It's like a double song. See, everybody's singing differently. It's not a it's not a mirror image of the first half of the song. And the lyrics are just beautiful. All right, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to play the whole song just for, for expediency's sake. We're already 11 minutes, which I could not do when I was doing this only on threads. And that really bothered me. I, ha I would have to stop the video now and then go back and edit out six minutes. Uh, how do you edit out six minutes out of everything that I just said? This song is absolutely amazing on so many levels. In my opinion, I, I just really think this is an excellent production and I'm happy that I don't have to edit out a word. I can just put this on YouTube, put the YouTube link on threads and if someone wants to go to YouTube and watch it, they can, you know. Um, but anyways, this is Artie Aster. Oh, I am Artie Aster from Tidal Waves. This is the band Shift Control with the amazing song Masquerade. No, no. Sometimes when I post these videos, people respond. They say thanks, or they, or they, or they mention things about the song, like, "Hey, you got that analysis just right." I've had people correct me, and they say, "No, that wasn't even a, um, you know, a guitar solo. Believe it or not, I used a synthesizer for that." And I've had people kind of correct me. I even said to one guy, "Your drum is amazing," and he wrote back and he was like, "Yeah, that's just dumb drum programming. I programmed it myself." And I was like, "I feel like an idiot." But with with production nowadays, and with all you can do with a DAW, I don't really get embarrassed if I say your drum is amazing, and then someone comes back and says, "No, I spent two hours programming the drums. It's the drum track was amazing. You know, whether it was a drummer or programmed drums." Um, but, you know, in this song here, it sounds like it was a drummer, but I could be wrong. I just think this song is an amazing production. So, Masquerade by Shift Control. Go follow them, share the song, give them a like, and stay tuned for the next episode of Tidal Waves. This is Artie Astor.